Harry, big news with the World Rally Championship finally returning to this part of the world with Rally New Zealand just around the corner. And you have some big plans just announced. Tell us about those. Very exciting times, I guess. Uh, looking forward to making my WRC2 debut at Rally New Zealand. I can't quite believe it, to be honest. The whole opportunity came about in, uh, in pretty amazing circumstances, but really looking forward to it. And it's probably something I feel like I've been fighting for for a while now. And the right opportunity hasn't sort of come up, but um, yeah, this time we've been able to work to make something happen, which is super exciting. And tell us about what car you'll be driving. Uh, so I'll be using a Skoda Fabia Rally 2 Evo. I guess everyone sees me as the Toyota guy and would question how or why that's even happening. But uh, Toyota currently don't have a homologated vehicle for WRC2. So I had to, um, I guess, look elsewhere and Toyota Australia have given me their blessing to go and do that, which I'm, I'm really grateful for. It hasn't been an easy ride to get to the point of being able to say you are confirmed. Give us an idea of the graph that has gone into the last few months. So many hurdles in general being from this part of the world, but um, it was actually Pedders uh, and Scott Pedder himself who sort of came to me and gave me this opportunity in the first place uh, after the Netty National Capital Rally this year. Um, Scott sort of rang me and said, hey, we want to do something with you at Rally New Zealand, which is just amazing and as a driver it's something you always dream of someone giving you that sort of opportunity and uh yeah for scott and the petters team to do that is is uh, a very very special feeling to me what does this opportunity actually mean to you is it an opportunity for you to show what you can do on this world platform and hopefully use it as a stepping stone to something else yeah i think so uh definitely hopefully it's an opportunity to show what i can do uh obviously we've had some good success here in the last few years in australia and uh, we haven't lost a rally in um, quite a long time now, which has been a great run, but I guess you know me, I'm always looking for a challenge and I love it when guys like Shane and Brendan and Eli turn up and, and give me that challenge. So um, I think to go into an event that's obviously going to be very competitive and have that opportunity to compete on, on the world stage against the best in the world is, um, is something really big for me and yeah, hopefully it'll open doors in the future. But uh, for now, very focused on this one off and, and hoping to put on a good show in New Zealand. The level of competition is going to just go up a notch once you get to that WRC stage. How do you think you're going to handle that pressure coming from the ARC that you admitted yourself you've had a fairly good grasp on over the last few years? And the WRC in general is a bigger thing than an ARC. Uh, it's a whole week rather than sort of three or four days. It's, you know, everything about it's bigger. Um, but I do think the ARC actually sets you up really well to go overseas. Uh, you know, the rallies we do in Australia are tough. Uh, there's varying conditions. There's a total sort of range of terrain in Australia, I guess, and that's one thing about the ARC that, um, that I think sets you up to do well overseas. But uh, no, it is different for sure, and um, it's a challenge I'm looking forward to. So um, yeah. I'll just have to prepare as best I can and, and we'll have to try and put on the best performance we can. You've obviously done WRC when it's been Rally Australia over here. Um, hopefully we're going to see that same atmosphere, that same buzz when you head over to Auckland. What's that like as a driver? I think the event over there is going to be absolutely huge, personally. I think uh, the Kiwis have been waiting for an opportunity to host a WRC again for quite a while. Uh, and yeah, like you say, I've competed at the WRC here in Australia and it's always a really special event. Obviously, you've got the best in the world around you, which is a cool thing in itself. And then on top of that, they draw a lot more spectators as well. So um, yeah, I think it'll be a, a really cool atmosphere all week. A few hometown heroes taking part in the rally as well with Hayden Padden and Shane Van Gisbergen. How do you think the New Zealand crowd is going to get behind you? And what's the support from Australia like in this whole journey for you? Oh, Kiwis love seeing Australians do well. So I think, uh, no, I think in general, uh, you know, rally people from this side of the world love seeing anyone do well. Uh, I think, you know, we're quite isolated down here at times from the WRC being such a European based sport. I think, uh, you know, Australians loved getting around Hayden Patton and equally, I think Kiwis love getting around Chris Atkinson, for example, when he was in the WRC. So. Um, from that point of view, I'm expecting to have uh, yeah a bit of support out on the stages. Uh, also, I'm expecting quite a few Aussies to head over, and it's actually one of those really cool things. Um, you know, a few of my existing sponsors and 
and close sort of supporters have really got behind me for this event and, and helped to make it a reality as well, which uh, yeah is something I'm very grateful for. And hopefully I can represent everyone from here and everyone who's supported me uh, to the best of my ability and, and make everyone proud.